the Game of Life podcast coming at you, where we bring to you the behind the scenes lives of NBA players, business savvy entrepreneurs, and top level performers in all fields of personal development. The podcast that helps you become the best version of you. The Game of Life, David Nurse. Here we go. You're sipping a warm cup of coffee as the aroma and the steam lift up into the morning sky. While you sit peacefully, looking off in the distance as the sun creeps up, rising, and the waves gently crash to the shore. You sit there, just taking in, soaking in the deep breaths, long, slow breaths out, feeling every rise and fall of your chest. The sound of birds chirping, filling the air, almost as if they're singing directly to you. You take another sip of your coffee and wonder, how did you get here? How did you get this great life you were living? How did you be able to start your morning the exact perfect way you have always wanted to? You wake up to an alarm blaring in your ear. And as you roll over with less than restful night's sleep, you check your phone. 14 unread messages, 12 new emails, and 3 missed calls from the night before. Your mind is now racing, wondering what everyone could want. It's a Saturday morning after all. You check your messages, quickly get out of bed, and run over to the coffee maker. You are out of coffee pods. You choose the coffee pods because that's the quicker way to make it in the morning. Your bed remains unmade, your kitchen sink full of dishes from the night before. As you force down your less than enjoyable cup of coffee, you flip open your laptop and begin rapidly responding to messages and emails that are the top most importance. It's 6.38 a.m. right now. You stop for a second and wonder, how did you get here? How did you get into this rat race mode of life? How did it become that your mornings are more intense and more frivolous than putting out a skyscraper fire? This isn't what you envisioned your life to be. So which scenario would you choose? I'm assuming you all choose the first. If you didn't, you might want to drop this book right now and go get yourself checked out. You chose the first because that is what a morning should be like. Peaceful, full of gratitude, exactly the way you want it to be. Not a morning tied to the phone, a laptop, or a list of things we deem as ultra important that we won't even remember we did a week from now. Tied to what the world is telling us to do and to what the world is telling us is the most important. There must be a reason I start the book out this way, why it's one of my beginning chapters, right? Yeah, definitely. Morning routines make us who we are. They shape our entire day. They sh- shape our lives. They're building blocks of the word consistency in our life. Like a ship without an anchor, people without morning routines are just welcoming constant anxiety and the uncertainty of their day and allowing for their day to own them instead of being able to own our day. Morning routines are so much more than what you do in the morning and a list of the life hacks or the morning routines that have became so popular. Instead, morning routines are a mindset that is created through your choices, through your actions, through your personal mindset that will turn and shape your entire day. And over the course of 365 mornings a year and 7,300 mornings over the next 20 years, the consistency of your mindset each morning determines how your life will be lived, whether you like it or not. The mindset shift that will make all the difference depends on how you look at your morning. Do you look at it as sacred time to be protected from anything media stimulating and being able to fully breathe in this amazing gift called life? To be able to enjoy your favorite cup of coffee. To be able to sit in silence and peace and feel any weight of the world on your shoulders be completely lifted free of your burden of worry. Or do you look at your mornings as a time that you want to hit the snooze button six more times? The time you dread because that means you have to wake up to the world. You have to chase the next rung of the ladder of success. You have to be something to everyone when you can't even be you to yourself. The answer might seem easy when you're reading this, but the small decisions you make in your morning routine might not always be. 
It's easy to slip into the mode of checking your phone right when you wake up and allowing your mind to race to a million different directions at a million miles per hour. It's a scary thought and it swallows many of us up, robbing us of our daily joy. But it doesn't have to be this way. It's the daily consistent mindset shift of what type of morning you are going to lead that will make all the difference, not only in your morning, but in your entire day, your entire year, and your entire life. Do this with me here. Now we're gonna create your perfect morning. All right, so what's in yours? Grab a piece of paper in your journal, write it out, and place it in in, in some spot you will normally see in the morning before you check your phone. Get your phone out of your room. That's number one, get it out of your room, get this journal, get your morning routine, get in the habit. And instead of reaching for the phone, you're gonna reach for this blueprint. That's gonna be your new phone in the morning. And as you will see later in this book with the other mindset shifts, chapters that I'm gonna go to and read to you, the importance of placing certain things in certain spots in your environment is to set up your mind is to set up your consistency is to set up your routine to make all the difference as those habits it's creating habits by setting up your environment and you'll see that later in this book so two previews of mindset shifts to come but first we must together conquer the mindset shift of the morning routine I get asked about my morning routine all the time, and I'm going to give you my seven-step morning routine. Feel free to take all of it, take one of it, take none of it, whatever you want. All right, so when I wake up slowly, without hurried pace, I get out of my bed. I calmly get out of my bed. I'll turn on my white light to get myself awake, but I don't hurry out of bed. I don't rush out of bed. Get out of bed. I turn on some soft worship praise music to get my mindset and just the just the thankful gratitude mindset and I make my bed. First thing I'll do is I'll make my bed with praise and worship music going. The second thing I do, I'm a big time coffee nut. I absolutely look forward to my coffee and I look forward to my green tea matcha and I look forward to my morning concoction, my one percent or my morning concoction that I call it. More on that with the recipe PDF online. But I really enjoy that coffee. I grind my own beans. I love the smell. I just take in the aromas while sitting, listening to my praise music and just soaking in the morning, slowly coming into the morning. I'll go outside. I'm blessed to be able to live by the beach in nice weather. Or if it's too cold, go into your favorite comfy chair. Find some area that you really enjoy being in, that you'll be comfortable in, but not too comfortable that you're going to fall back to sleep. And spend this time in reflection time, in gratitude. Start. I start by taking seven deep breaths, just real deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. It just gets your mindset just so relaxed. And I, I write in a journal. I, I write everything that I'm thankful for from the day before. Actually, I break it down into stages. So I'll write something that I'm, that uh, a small joy in my day from the day before, something that I'm excited for coming up. I'll write something that I'm working on personally, whether it's being uh, given more time to strangers or whatever it might be. I'll write three people that I'm going to text or call and let them know that I'm thinking of them just to encourage them. Trust me, this makes a world of difference. Just go through your phone book, people you haven't talked to for a while, send them a text that says, hey, just thinking of you, uh, thinking of you in my morning, my morning uh, devotional time, my morning gratitude time. Hope you're doing well. It will. It could change change their life. I've had great response from that. It's a great way to stay in touch with people too. Just grow a deeper relationship. And for me, I read something that will grow me deeper in my relationship with Christ, which is very important to me. And I just absolutely love doing. It. I love. I love reading uh, something that's going to get me closer to Him. It's just a great way to start my morning. So fourth, after I've had my gratitude time, I've been sipping my coffee, my green tea, matcha, ceremonial grade from Japan, had my one percenter concoction. Now I'll go into some light stretching, some yoga, uh, a roll out. So I'll roll out on one of those rollers to 
just break up all the tightness from maybe a workout the day before and those light stretch and i'll either continue to listen to some worship music or i'll put on a, a podcast or an audiobook something that's something that's that's light and easy it could be something that i want to be learning on or a book that i'm reading or a, a sermon podcast that i'm listening to so i'll do this for about 15 20 minutes and then the fifth the fifth thing in my morning routine is i get in an ice cold shower i take a three minute ice cold shower every morning it's one of my ways to just absolutely win the morning so i'll feel great and i'll know that i got something accomplished that's not always the most uh, exciting thing to look forward to believe it or not i don't always look forward to jumping in an ice cold shower but it's great for you it's great for your mind it's great for igniting body fat burning and it really just wakes me up and gets me ready to go for the day and then i'll write down three wins for the day so i'll write down my three things that i'm going to accomplish for the day i don't want to just go through my day aimlessly i want to have some direction some focus sure there's going to be a lot of things that come up and i'll have to i'll have to go here i'll have to pivot there whatever it might be but i want to make sure that i got three things that i'm focused on i'm going to get done that day and i'm going to make sure that they're things that can advance myself and advance others around me it can be anything as long as it moves the needle forward and helps you become a better version of the best version of yourself that you can be then it's great could be little things could be huge things three wins for the day i write down i check that at the end of the day and then seventh i read my mindset shift note cards yes i'm not just telling you this these note cards that you're going to be making throughout the course of this book but i do it myself i place them all over my house strategically place them over my house and i get myself juiced up motivated ready to go for the day and just have my mind in absolutely great perspective and it's best it's basically the best morning routine that i have found sure i have to change it up when i'm on the road and i'm always looking to improve it but i know that i am going to wake up with ultimate joy passion for what i do and overall confidence in who i am because of my morning and i consistently win my mornings every single day consistency thank you for joining me this chapter of my morning routine i highly encourage that you uh write out your own morning routine it doesn't have to be seven steps it could be two steps but something that you can consistently do to put yourself in a great state of mind to attack the day don't go into the day in the rat race mode too many people do it and you're just going to get absolutely burnt out we're here to enjoy life so make your morning routine something that you really enjoy a coffee or something that you really look forward to and love your mornings more chapters to come thank you for listening um if you can leave a five-star review on the podcast it'll be here share this with somebody and just continue to give in your own life if you have a great morning routine share with somebody else that's how we all make each other better we're all here for each other servant attitude thank you for listening once again more to come stay tuned game of lifers